Hey, what's up? It's Leo from Fourth Wall. Today we're going to be going over all of the improvements we've made to Fourth Wall this year. And let me just say, there's a lot. So let's get right into it. Starting with some site design updates, we've added the ability to create nested menus that make it easier for supporters to navigate your site. We also added the ability to duplicate themes, rename them, and delete unused themes. We added a visible drop-down menu in the theme editor so you can now quickly change and add new pages to your site. Emojis are also now fully supported through your fourth wall shop. You can now customize your social share image, aka the image that shows up when someone shares your link. We've also improved the experience of adding new sections to your page with a dedicated window that categorizes the sections, making it easier to navigate. Plus, you can edit your account name after your account is created. In June, we also added support for Kik, Ko-fi, and Patreon links in our website design. Last year, our team took a lot of time to improve the reliability and speed of our website, causing over 30% improvement in load speeds. That's super fast. There were so many cool additions to the product catalog this year, all over print pillows, pint glasses, flags, swimsuits, aprons, posters, knitwear, jewelry. I could go on. On top of that, we also made a lot of previously requestable products available immediately for design. Not only did we add so many new products, we have a new filter added to the catalog to filter by brands. We also have refreshed the product catalog display, and we added the ability to see the production methods that are available for each product without having to click into them. You can now see all available printing techniques under the product rather than separate listings for each technique, and you can order samples straight from the product details page. We also added the ability to download templates for requestable products, and out of stock and back in stock emails began being sent out so you can keep track of your products. For the product designer, you can now set an exact size for your art, duplicate the art, and change the order in which your art appears. All products also now have multiple photography angles that you can use for your product listing. We've made it easier to see which colors and sizes are out of stock in the product catalog, and we added support for printing transparency and fades on apparel. This is one of my favorite features. There's new model photography added for dozens of products, and we made some great upgrades to the product design experience with a lot faster product photography generation, the ability to rearrange fabric and product colors, and better thread color management for embroidery. Product designer speed has also been improved, and there were a lot of performance bug fixes that our team made. We also introduced the recommended system. We're no longer making creators choose a specific printing technique. You can now have us automatically select the best printing technique based on your fabric weight, artwork size, and colors. But if you have a specific design that you want printed a certain way, don't worry, you can still choose yourself. We also launched product templates that can be downloaded right in the designer. They're currently only available for knitwear, but we plan to support this in all complex products in the future. We also made it possible for you to duplicate your products easily in your product page. And on the digital side of things, now if you have a digital product that you want to update, you have the ability to send out the new file to all previous buyers too. Last but not least, we added some compare at pricing, which is a great feature for advertising your sales. On the side of the dashboard, we've added a lot of updates, so buckle up. When it comes to promotions, there were some cool improvements, such as combining shipping and percent off discounts. You can now limit free shipping promotions to specific products, and you can limit promotions to only be redeemable in specific countries. The ability to create promo codes that give discounts to current members who upgrade their membership tier is now available. And this year we introduced our new agency dashboard. This dashboard was built for people who work with multiple creators and needed a way to keep track of all of the sites that they manage. In the analytics tab, you can now clearly see Twitch gifting and profits, Twitch gifting redemption status, order quantities, average sales and average profit, discounts, cancels, and refunds. We also introduced some new team member roles and permissions, like the thank you note sender, allowing creators to invite people to administer their site while only giving them certain permissions. Twitch gifts and donations are also now included in downloaded order data, and we now correctly label sample orders and the downloaded spreadsheet is now sorted by transaction date. We also added an awesome AI powered support bot to give you answers faster and updated the onboarding checklist for new creators. Supporters now have the ability to change their shipping address and we have added a manage notifications link at the bottom of the emails you receive from fourth wall to give you more control over what emails you receive from us. Another nice update is transactions that would result in a negative profit that can't be covered by your account balance are now blocked to protect you from negative balances, or you can choose to add a card to cover those. On the membership side of things, we have a lot of exciting updates. This year, memberships became available to everyone. I can't believe that was this year. They grew up so fast. We added the ability to add multiple images to a memberships post. Now you can upload up to 50 images on a single post. That's a long way from one. We added the option to pin one message per post in your members only area, and members are notified with an email whenever one of their comments is pinned by the creator. The ability to offer custom discounts to your Twitch subscribers on any memberships tier was made available, and we made it so you can use promo codes to give discounts on memberships. There's also now a stream alert for memberships, new clickable tags and tags in search, and we added the ability to shadow ban any disruptive members. You're able to publicly display how many members you have in each tier, if you want to, 
You can also search through your members and post on your dashboard. And we improved support for vertical photos and videos. We added the ability to preview your perks tab to see it the same way your members do. You can highlight your recent memberships posts on your homepage to show people what they're missing. And Infinity Scrolling was launched in memberships feeds for both desktop and mobile. There's also a new memberships upselling feature, which lets you offer shop supporters a free month of your membership with their shop order. The memberships video player also had some great updates with automated closed captions, previews that make it easier to skip through the video and background playback. Advanced tag filtering for memberships was added, allowing you to use multiple tags at once for a post. And we now have Vimeo and streamable embeds for memberships posts. Last, but certainly not least, we introduced a new fully branded mobile app for memberships. I have my app installed on my phone, do you? All right, when it comes to Twitch gifting, this year we added the ability to choose how the shipping costs were covered. Now you can choose to have the cost covered by the recipient, by you, or you can set it so you pay up to a certain amount and the rest is covered by the recipient. The ability to redo giveaways if there was no winner selected or the winner did not redeem their gift was also introduced. And we updated the algorithm that powers Twitch gifting, improving the randomness of the winner selection. We also made it super easy to see what gifters are paying for shipping by adding a separate line item on the order summary. And lastly, you now receive links to Twitch gifting moments after for each stream. I've seen so many cute clips after gifting to you guys. I love them. We also added a lot of new apps to Forthwell this year. We added ShipStation, which makes it easy to import and manage self-fulfilled orders and print shipping labels. TikTok Shop, which allows you to connect your Forthwell shop to TikTok. The Beehive app, so you can automatically sync your Forthwell newsletter signups and emails. Clavio, which allows buyers to opt into receiving promotional emails during checkout. And Lalo, which is a tool that helps you announce and promote your drops directly to your supporters. We also refreshed the look of the apps page. It's much prettier now. On the mobile app side of things, big shocker, we also made a lot of updates. Overall, we made our mobile app a lot easier to use. We added the ability to sign up directly on the app. You can also now easily access your memberships page, manage your memberships content, and create memberships promotions all directly from the app. We made it so you can view your profit balance, add payment methods, and set monthly spending limits. We also added the ability to create new promotions for specific products, generate multiple promo codes, archive old promotions, and edit live promotions. In the app, you can also now set your site status as well as view your sample credit. And lastly, we have made a beautiful visual upgrade to the mobile view, making it a bit more compact. One thing you guys were really excited about is that we launched our API and webhooks in July. With that, we added support for product creation and updating, memberships, donations, giveaways, products and gifting, and so much more. All right, I know that was a lot, but that wasn't even all of it. The team has been working really hard to take your feedback into consideration to make Forthwell the best platform for creators. Now, if you wanna check out every single update for this year, and there's a lot, you can check out the blog linked below. We have so many exciting changes coming in the new year as well that I can't wait to tell you guys about but I have to, so stay tuned. Thanks for hanging out with me today and let me know in the comments what your favorite update was this year and what you wanna see next. See ya.